look at this crowd here. You think we won the Super Bowl? I've never seen so many people in this room before. What's well, get us all? And I'm Lorenzo Thomas of the Sports Brothers, and this is Jeff Fox. How you doing, Jeff? I haven't seen you in a while, man. Yeah, man. It's been a while since we did this, but what a historical day today here in Davie, Florida. Man, and it is historic, and of course, we're here at the training facility of the Miami Dolphins in Davie, Florida, where. The Miami Dolphins introduced their 13th head coach in their history, Brian Flores. And what did you think about him, brother? I think you can't come with a higher – you can't come into this organization off of a more impressive performance than what we saw yesterday in the Super Bowl when the New England Patriots basically shut down the NFL's second-highest scoring offense True. in an impressive 13-3 win. The game wasn't all of that. But if you're going to come into this organization – and show some of that championship pedigree. What a great way to leave New England and come into Miami. Yes, and he really didn't even have a chance to celebrate. Hopped on the plane and came straight here to Davey. Let's see what he had to say. Thank you. It's been a whirlwind 24 hours. This opportunity. I'm, I'm humbled. Um, I'm grateful. Uh, you know, this isn't, you know, I wasn't in a rush to become a head coach. I really wasn't. Um, you know, I had a good job in New Orleans. I wasn't in the rush. You know, I, mean, you know, I talked this over with Jenny and uh, my family, and I we talked about it. We said we're not going to be in a rush. It's got to be the right fit. It's got to be the right place. You got to have the right feel. I met with Chris, uh, Steve, Tom, Matt, Brandon. Um, you know, when we came out of that. And, you know, Jenny, I'll tell you, um, I was excited when I came out of that meeting. Um, I do believe that if you can get a group of young men to band together, to trust one another, to believe in one another, to practice um, and prepare at a high level in your ball games. Yes, it was a great performance by the New England Patriots in the Super Bowl, but Brian remembers the last time he was here in South Florida. How can we forget the Miami <laughs> Miracle? I mean, we all lost our minds that day, but he knows about how tough it is for opposing teams to come into South Florida and win here in Miami. That's when the Dolphins were really good, Lorenzo. That was something that he would like to bring back and make this a place, a house of horrors for opposing teams when they come into Hard Rock to play the Miami Dolphins. Well, let me ask you this, Jeff. What do you think about the hire? I love it. First of all, I love the fact that, um, again, I mentioned the, the, the perspective of Chris Berber being African-American and, of course, uh, hiring an African-American head coach. That is very significant in light of the Rooney Rule and the ineffectiveness of the Rooney Rule. Right. It's good to see that the Miami Dolphins were one of the first teams, actually the first team, to step up. And, and really hire a black GM and a black head coach. Mm -hmm. and, and these guys are qualified. Chris Greer, widely regarded around the league as a genius in that front office. And Stephen Ross had the confidence in him to put him in charge of the, uh, uh, this organization. Yeah. And then his first hire being uh, Brian Flores. And you, again, you look at yesterday's performance in the Super Bowl, mm -hmm. and you look at the numbers of the New England Patriots defense under Brian Flores, how they improved Lorenzo from last year to a top 10 defense this year. And more significantly, the way they shut down the NFL's number one and number two offenses. Yeah. You know, and at least you look at the first half of the Kansas City game, you combine that with what you saw yesterday, this is very impressive. Yeah. I do believe that if you can get a group of young men to band together, to trust one another, to believe in one another, to practice, at a high level in the football games. Well, after looking at Brian, I see a lot of similarities in the press conference between him and Bill Belichick. What do you think about that, Jeff? Uh, doesn't have a lot, to, a lot of words. Not a guy of many words. But um, I think he does his talking on the football field. I think he mentioned being a leader, yeah. a leader of men. That's what we need, man. We haven't had that in a long time here in South Florida. So I'm very optimistic that the future is bright for our football team. Right, right. Well, for Jeff Fox and Lorenzo Thomas, we are the Sports Brothers, coming to you from Davie, Florida, the Miami Dolphins training facility. Until next time, we are the Sports Brothers.